Officer A then, the other one uh, is the junior ingester. And uh, I work as a global uh, bid manager. I'm in charge of all the uh, proposals and bids that we do uh, globally. Again, I'm looking forward. I'm Bob Duane, and I'm a member of Good Shepherd Collieville.
glad to be here. I've got a wife and three kids. One's going off to college next year, and two more are going to high school. So. Good morning. Uh, John Soto from St. Phillips here. Uh, attended the first conference just this recently. Uh, originally from Houston. <clears throat> and I've been for close to six, seven years now to St. Phillips. Um, two twin boys going to high school. Uh, I'm working up here now in the, in the finance industry for almost the last 20 years. Uh, I was really moved from the conference. Like I said, I wanted to find out a little bit more uh, how the Spirit can move us as men and be more of leaders in our families and our, in our parishes and our community. Uh, and pertaining the gospel, not just by word, but by being. And that's kind of why I'm here. Stevens, I'm also here from St. Phillips uh, and uh, wife Juanita. I've uh, been here for uh, about uh, 18 years now. The uh, eldest is uh, finally out of Marquette as a uh, eagle there. And the uh, youngest is here in uh, Louisville, also a uh, freshman. Uh, been really involved in Catholic scouting in the diocese for the last 12 years since the boys got involved in scouting. And uh, as my sons have grown older, I realized that the, the spirit for the men and bringing that out I really got involved in a lot of the, reading a lot of different things. Father Larry and Jerry uh, about uh, man up and such. So uh, since it was here and only a quarter of a mile away from the house today, I thought this would be a great place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so especially since we had a uh, face hearing at uh, 730 next door. Yeah. Uh, Mark can be a little bit wasted. I actually met Mark uh, in December and the first words out of his mouth were, you know, this is a great conference coming up in February. Uh, so this year was my first conference. So glad to be here. Grace of God be with you all. Trino Sanchez from San Mateo. We're a mission church of St. Patrick's. And since uh, I was 33, I accepted the Holy Spirit and been walking, talking to talk. Uh, then somebody pointed to me the documents of Vatican II, the decree of the Apostles of the Lady. It's a mouthful, but it's easy to do. I've been doing evangelization since about 35, 36. Uh, currently, I went from a mission church to where you do all aspects, you carry every hat. Now I'm the sacristan, I take care of the altar, the sacristy, the priest, you know, I've been doing all that. But by the grace of God, uh, my wife is doing worse, I'm still married to the church. And how that operates is, is that I'm celibate. Uh, when I meet women, I talk to them and introduce them, do you know, do you know me? Do evangelization right off the mark. Uh, my encouragement to men is to help them understand that they're in an unordained priesthood and they need to step into that role as a priest in their house to bring peace. If there's discord, you're not doing your job. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And by the grace of God, I've been blessed with two beautiful children. Uh, my son is 22. He's doing retail, I think. Anyway, he just goes. And my daughter uh, became pregnant one year, and she says, Dad, I have a problem. I said, no, you don't. I can't do nothing but love you. Right? And so my beautiful grandson yeah, just celebrated his third birthday yesterday. So that was a good enjoyment. Uh, being a grandfather is a wonderful thing. I almost feel a lot recognizing you that your job is not complete. It's not finished. Uh, I've been... Wanting to come to the conferences, I think I went to the one to Denver. Don't have one. And uh, anyway, but uh, coming here, when I went to the one last year, I was, I was just really amazed and astounded that a lot of brothers do not acknowledge each other with blessings. You have blessings or curses to give. Give blessings. God bless you. All I hear the last message is the Lord Holy Spirit, you know? and. The bishop was, I was really stunned by the bishop's uh, message of the teenagers because they said that uh, you just started your journey today, you know, and always be a father of Christ and always remember that uh, whatever you do, always do it in the name of Christ and that uh, uh, you should always uh, practice the, whatever Christ did uh, when he was alive, you know, and that reminds me of our mission here. I've been with, uh, with this, uh, our brotherhood the last four years now. I've been on office for the last three years and uh, I think uh, the message of the bishop last night gave me more energy to participate in this night because right now we're in the middle of our journey and in that journey we are truly a part of the Father of Christ you know, and, uh, and it's 
so I was moved that uh, hopefully uh, I'll be, uh, I'll, be uh, I'll make a difference this year, whatever role I'll be in. Uh, glad to start you know, and, uh, and uh, it will move me to uh, involve myself more towards uh, spreading the uh, gospel of Christ. I've been in service for 20 years and I said that uh, I've been there for uh, the last 30 years. I have three kids. Uh, they're all gone up, so I have more time in my hands. And I've been working with St. Jude a lot, working as a catechist, also as a uh, PAMI, that manages that man, that man you. And it's very, very important center. And also I've been with the uh, church, and uh, the last one is uh, I've been a lot of you know, doing the hands and everything. Also, Mark, Mark Haggard, and um, this actually would be, I what I mean, it would be a uh, Last year I was a little bit more disconnected. Um, this is a really great event. I have to tell you, just, just me sitting here, uh, Joey, I think this has been very successful. Okay, as I, as I look around the room here, I can just can see you know, the, the impressions that you guys have, have done, what you guys are doing, just to. Just to is, uh, is wow, that's what this is supposed to be about. Um, I've been married for 30 years. I've got three daughters. My oldest daughter is expecting, so uh, June, I'm expecting to have a new son, so I'm real excited about that. And uh, so that, that, that is just another great, wonderful blessing that I've had. But this conference has been a, a huge blessing for me. Uh, four years ago, we moved to the area. Joey got me involved in the very first one. Um, obviously, because I had done a lot in Colorado regarding some of these things, and it's like, hey, you need a program director, and so, and so I you know, said, okay, I can do that, and, uh, and, and came on in and it was a kid It's my wife and a lot of challenges with the first one, but uh, we just really worked. And, and you guys, again, are great. To me, it's a, it's a great validation. It's just how how strong and powerful the Holy Spirit is, and how this all moves. And everything that you, that you guys have, have said, how important it is for what for us to bring that back to our parish, to our community, to our families, because that's what lifts lifts everybody up. That's what lifts this faith up, okay, and, and brings it to that next level. That's what Christ will. Okay, yeah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so, so anyway, looking forward to rolling up our sleeves and, and getting into this this year. So, it starts to move on out of power, you know, it's actually pretty good.
you ever wonder, do you ever feel affected by what's taking place in this other than ministry? It's, it's changing lives, not just changing behaviors, but it's changing lives. And that's why I'm here and continue to be involved in that this ministry is, uh, is just destined for a greater thing to be at. Um, so I uh, look forward to uh, continuing to be involved in that to Prince of Peace, as I said, uh, in there for 20 years, uh, two daughters, uh, and uh, blessed to have uh, my, uh, both my parents are still alive and they go to St. Jude's, so uh, there's a lot of time to still, uh, <coughs> still with them. And then lastly, I would just say that you know, what drives me is listening to Catholic Radio about a year or two years ago or so. Her beautiful comments that all her in life uh, happened around the altar. And so anytime I have an opportunity to be around the altar, um, that's why I love the game. I've jogged a I've attended three of the four uh, conferences. I'm a uh, retired uh, public relations and fundraising executive. I've uh, been married 51 years, uh, uh, celebrate our 51st year in April. We have uh, four children, all live locally in the Metroplex, uh, 11 grandchildren. Uh, we've had uh, this spring, we've had a confirmation in four first communions. Uh, and so uh, we stay very busy uh, uh, with the children and the grandchildren. Uh, the first conference that I attended, uh, they recognized a lot of groups but I didn't hear acts recognized, and so I immediately wrote Kevin uh, Christensen, and I said, why did you not recognize acts? And he said, well, I just really wasn't aware of it. I'm only aware of chirps. And so now we're in the recognition process, and uh, we've got a lot of acts people that are coming because we like celebrating with other Catholic men. My wife uh, is a nurse, and uh, uh, we do a lot of uh, together I see the choir at uh, St. Michael Church. I'm Rick Self. Uh, I'm along the Good Shepherd in Colleyville. Been there for six, seven years officially. Been going to church there for 20 years now before uh, that. Um, very active in my parish. This men's conference, I went to it three times. I went to it a couple of years ago for the first time with Bob and the guys. Good Shepherd. Last year and the year before, I was on the leadership team. And the way I look at this conference is a chance for us as men to witness to other men to be leaders in their family. And if you, you know, during the Easter season, we're going through Acts and, and readings. And think about what those guys went through. Peter and all those guys went through in the early church. That's kind of how I feel in this men's conference. We're risking ourselves to go out and battle for the church and so that's what makes me motivated that's what that's why i like doing this and uh, my wife you know she finally succumbed that i'm going to do this no matter what and the holy spirit is more powerful than she is oh, <laughs> and mostly oh, we won't tell us it's actually written in scripture but she's on board with it. She, she's good to go with it. I've got three kids. i got a 30-year-old, a 22-year, a 23-year-old, and an 8-year-old. Been married for 31 years. Um, and very, again, very active in our church. And I'm just so happy to see all these you guys here today because it just shows the power of the Holy Spirit and what the men's conference has done for you guys. I know you're very active in all of your church through Acts, through Church, through everything. I mean, all these things are very important, so I'm happy to be here. So. Good morning, I'm Joey Alsea from St. Gabriel's Catholic Church. I'm married on 30 years, next month, on the 30th anniversary, two boys, uh, one grandson, blessed day, grandchildren get to talk about, more uh, coming, he's got to come, so blessings are coming in the way too. <coughs> I uh, worked for AT&T, been with them since 1999. Prior to that, I was in the, uh, with NCI for two years. Prior to that, I was in the military, retired from cases also for 20 years total. Active duty, National Guard, uh, duty in the state of Texas. Communications officer down in Austin for a few years. And 
operations officer here in Dallas for the state of Texas. Um, why do I do this? I was called by God to do this. This thing started. You guys can come to the conference. I can kind of share how this thing started. But um, it's just been a mission of mine. And, and Rick kind of was joking about all he puts God first over his wife. Well, it's written in scripture. Or to do that, you follow it, right? And you can truly do that. It is difficult. But I've been doing that, and it's brought some challenges to me and my, my spouse. She's like, oh, go to your church, do this. But like, you want to help me. I'm doing the work, the will, right? To be with her and be with us so I can continue to evangelize his work. Because that's really why I'm doing this. I mean, when I went to, I've been in the member of church at like St. Gabriel several years ago. Prior to that, I was a Sunday captain at 2 o'clock in, 6 o'clock out. We would do the mass and all the things. My wife did all the stuff with the kids. I was there. I showed up and I paid the bill. Let her do whatever she needed to do. But the weekend that I went to church and I truly saw what this God approached, that's when it changed my life. And at that point, I knew that I missed out on the walk. Because since then, I've been doing whatever he's called me to do. So, um, five years now in the leadership role for this, uh, this group, uh, it's a passion of mine. I'm um, going to be working this again for the next year as long as my health holds out and everything's good. And we look forward to another successful year. We've had uh, four good years, four good groups of speakers. And then, frankly, you guys, in, you know, thanks for coming on. Because you're going to get a lot out of it, a lot of this, right? we be blessed in more ways than ever. And I look back at my life and I'm like, okay, got married, had kids, was a Catholic, supposedly right. What I thought was a Catholic, but was truly really more than my religion because I didn't understand it because it wasn't reading scripture. It wasn't listening to the word. It wasn't you know, listening to things that it was telling me. It was going in one ear and out the other, and it really wasn't coming in here. And now I kind of more like coming in here so I could understand what it was to do. Just put that first. <clears throat> So anyway, I look forward to working with everybody this year and uh, have another successful year and then bringing them together and their faith. Part of our mission statement is for us to be able to bring them together and allow them to move back to their parishes and start their own little small groups, Acts, church, men's groups, nights, and all nights too. Uh, and I just joined the nights. I was, I rejoined the nights. It was a nights a long time ago. I didn't get involved in the nights. And part of my, my, uh, Year's resolution was to learn to come back into the night so I could go in the night to one to get involved a little bit with that. Of course, you know, when the rosary came and the new membership card came, my wife's like, What is this? And I'm like, Oh my God. I said, I'm only going to do the things, you know, periodically. She's like, Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Lord, you call me to do this. I'll do this, whatever, you, whatever your will is. Anyway, I'm looking forward to working with everybody this year. Welcome. Yes, if you would, we're going to proclaim tomorrow's gospel message, so if you ever want to go to the your app. The gospel according to John, and this is John 10, 11 through 18. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lies down his life for a sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own, sees the wolves coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. Wolves catch and scatter. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. This is the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must leave, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ.
part of what we do at Joey Outline, we see it as the spark. This is the spark that ignites somebody to re-energize their faith, uh, to get them continuing to seek a stronger relationship with Christ. We thank you for being here, and uh, no matter what role each of us discerns to be, anytime you are willing to say, hey, I am available to serve you, that is very, very good. Okay. It's the foundation of what we're called to do. Okay. All right, the process uh, that we're about to undertake is going to look like this. Let me describe it first, and then we'll go uh, through it however much time it takes. If it takes a half hour, if it takes an hour, it takes an hour and a half. That'll be up to the Holy Spirit. Okay. I'm going to describe it. We'll get uh, uh, all the administrative details out of the way first, and then once we start the discernment process, we'll pray right before that, and then uh, it'll be a holy, humble environment. We'll let the Holy Spirit tell us, hey, we're not in your, your service. Not so much about me, but about where he's called me. Okay, so while we have asked you, um, we've given you sheets, and I'm going to go through these roles very quickly in just a minute. As I go through these roles, though, if you put a one, two, three, four, five, whatever it is, something different in this five minutes or last night or driving over or a week ago or two weeks ago. It doesn't matter what you've written down on a piece of paper beforehand or what you write down on the right hand. Uh, we need you, not I. We need you. But you know, the record guys. Okay. So if you feel called but you're listening to your brothers, you hear something, you see that there's a need to fulfill all that that call be, be, be bread just at the point of Okay? Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to describe these roles real quick. Um, and then after I describe these roles, we're going to go around three times. And I'll, I'll try to recap this again here. Once we start the discernment process, the first time you go through, it's a one word answer. I feel I'm being called to, you don't know, need to say I'm being called. I'll say that, hey, how do you feel called? What we'll do is when we come to you, I ask you to say your first name loud and proud. My name is Paul. I feel called as an example of facilities. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so then we'll go to the next person, next person, next person, next person. So we'll just let that sink in. All right, then we'll go around the second time. Hey, my name is Paul. I feel called to facilities. And if I care to share a brief reason why or what I think is bringing me to that call, I can share that at that time. There will also be an opportunity for a brother may say, hey, I see this gift in you. I think this gift might be right where you are, or it might be, I feel like you might consider something else. Okay? So it's a true discernment process. It's not me, hey, man, I want to be the chief guy of facilities you shoot. It's all about, it's not about me. It's about me being humble in service putting myself available, and then letting the Holy Spirit decide where to be in my service, okay? And then, so we'll go that that around the second time. We're not filling any roles or any charts at that point, anything like that. Then we'll go around the third time, and we'll just, uh, if you're looking at the sheets, refer to these sheets real quick. We'll go around the third time. What we'll have to do is we're going to need to discern the conference team first. And so we'll discern however long we need to. If we have a, a name in that slot. Then we go spiritual director, business manager, and on down the line. Uh, so that's the way the, the, the process will go. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so what I'll do real quick, um, and you guys have seen these sheets before. <coughs> yes. We had emailed one of the meetings we had. Uh, so I'll try to be quick. But, hey, Paul, you didn't answer this, or I have a question about that. You stop me, you me up, and slow me down, okay? I want to respect your time. So I'm going to go kind of lightning around. Where you need questions, interrupt me and stop me. Okay? All right, so today it look like whenever I'm speaking, I always introduce myself. Hi, my name is Paul. Okay. All right, um, and these roles are conference meeting. That's the person that's going to uh, put a direct traffic on the meetings and be the overall facilitator of making sure we put a great conference on for 2016. Okay? Uh, the spiritual director is a new role for this year. Okay? We want to make sure that we are rooted in, in the Word and in the direction of the Holy Spirit. And so this is a lay person, okay? 
we, we also get spiritual counsel outside from, from priests, uh, deacons, uh, and the diocese. But this will be a lay person for when we have meetings or uh, uh, subcommittee meetings, whatever that happens to look like, then make sure that the Holy Spirit is present. Might choose a reading, might ask another brother to share a reading, a reflection, uh, lead the room in prayer, things like that. So we want to add that spiritual director. So that's what that was. It's just to make sure that our whole mission is founded in the Word of God. Then, then we'll have a business manager, and the business manager will be the one that, that uh, you know, we've got a lot of people that are really talented at that. It's just making sure that they are running the numbers. We, uh, all the subcommittees are, are, are working on their task and they're keeping everything on track. Okay, so managing the business details is very, very important to know. Okay? Then the finance manager will develop and track the budget and do all the accounting and manage our, our finances. Marketing and publicity role develops our plan to promote the conference uh, you know, through advertising and marketing. Um, information technology, you know, we'll, we'll uh, manage the website uh, and, and uh, can maintain that web presence to make sure it's cutting in. Okay. Facility to lead, very, uh, very important job, uh, whether it's lead, lead or for support member. But they, they coordinate the physical setup uh, of not only the conference, but Subcommittee meetings, group meetings, and things like that. That's the go-to person that manages uh, the movement of materials, okay? Uh, and get the facility and this into place to be prepared, okay? Mm -hmm. Outreach to the parishes. Uh, what this will be is that this, this will outreach, uh, instead of just relying on what we used to call parish captains, we want a, we want a, a leader and uh, a team to be actively going out shaking hands with these parishes, making phone calls, contacting them, making sure that they know about our conference and our ministry. Okay? So that's what that will be. Uh, and then a parish recruiter, you should be called a parish captain. No longer have parish captains because, hey, I don't need to be the only voice at, at you know, I happen to be a member of whichever captain community. I don't own whichever captain community, and I don't own the, the ministry or anything like that, but I, 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 I love to spread the word and the opportunity. But if I get my brother Rick, my brother Ralph, my brother Bob, my brother Lynn, all the other company, and then we're all talking about that, and we're recruiting really throughout all the different ministries we're involved in, we can have much better success. So instead of calling it the captain, I'm a parish recruiter if I start into that role. And we can have more than one per parish, okay? All right? And then, uh, but we'll also need a lead to work with all the parish recruiters just to get checkups to make sure we're so for a lot of these jobs, you can see there's a lead, uh, and then there's all, all kind of people that want to be part of that committee as well. Okay, so we have a lot of people doing that. Okay. Uh, registration coordinates the conference registration, both uh, the electronic and on the day of the event. Um, so you will have a lead, and we'll also need several people to help us with that. And then provisions. Uh, that person is responsible for all the materials, like, you know, uh, the rosary. Uh, rosary book that's everything we print, uh, all of the materials that we use in the book that's in the picture, things like that, t-shirts, all of that. And so that person takes the lead over managing the process of all of the materials that we need. Okay. Um, and then speaker selection committee, a change of the terminology on that, instead of a speaker coordinator, really that job is about a vetting out uh, you know, potential speakers uh, and topics. And so Call that the speaker collection. We need a lead, and we need uh, people to help uh, get through that as well. And then the volunteer coordinator a job we added, uh, I guess, uh, one or two cycles ago. Very, very important. It takes a lot of volunteers for the day of the event to coordinate all these activities. We just need somebody directing traffic on all that, making sure we get good, solid, quality communication and answering all of their questions. Okay. And then the vendor coordinator uh, last year. We made a shift change. We prayed about it. We talked about it. We challenged ourselves. We got out of our comfort zone. And we said, hey, you're always doing things exactly the way you're doing them right now. You always have exactly what you have right now. So we said, hey, we want this conference to be more evangelical, bring more people in. And we certainly, uh, so we did that. We've done that every single year. But then next 
challenges for us. Yeah, it is for us to make sure uh, that we're bringing people in to the, uh, 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 as far as vendors and uh, ministries, because it's not all about going to a conference for one day, uh, getting fired up, going home, and then uh, going to church again the following week. It's, it's an ongoing ministry, and so what we want to do is once a gentleman, we believe truly that fellowship is the first thing we've got to do. We've got to fellowship, become somebody's friend, then talk to them about their relationship with Christ, and talk to them, and we, we hold each other accountable, and we grow on that journey together. Okay, that's what it's about. That's what this ministry is now to do. But then I've got to put it into action. Whether that's joining another ministry, invite fellow men into sharing the word of Christ with others. Um, and so what we did last year is we said, hey, let's bring partners. Let's bring in Captain Jerry as an example. Let's bring in Pro Life. Let's bring in uh, other opportunities to serve. So once I start getting on fire with my faith, then I want to be connected, then I want to serve. And so we're trying to build that model. So that's a very important role. I don't spend a lot of time. That's how I feel that very important role to make sure that we're bringing <coughs> other ministries in so I can connect people to that uh, and minister to them in that way. Okay? Not just about the folks that we're looking for, very, very important. We've also got to have service ministry. Alright. Uh, how are we doing so far? Good? Okay. Sacristan, uh, obviously, uh, when we celebrate the Mass and all the materials that we have to make sure that we're prepared for the liturgy. On your copy, the electronic copy will show in a minute. Uh, I didn't do it here. I figured it out last night. I said, we talked about it. We agreed upon it. I didn't drop it on the printing form. But we're going to have a liturgist also. So we've got to have somebody preparing the liturgy, making sure that we've got the prayers, the songs, the readings, and all of that properly prepared. And the Holy Spirit is truly prepared. Okay? So we'll have a sacristan and a liturgist. Uh, we'll have a speaker moderator. The speaker moderator is the person that coordinates the question and answers, introduces the speakers, uh, and uh, you know, will be the, the main sounding board, the person that is in front, keeping the activity going throughout the day. Okay? And then the weekend facilitator keeps us on time. That's the person that says, hey, you know, uh, you got to run five minutes ahead, you're 10 minutes late. Uh, I advise you to do this, that, and the other. You've got to have somebody keep the stopwatch, keep you on time. Audio visual tech coordinates the sound, the video, the lighting, the videographer, the photographer, obviously the video and, uh, and uh, photographs of course we've got the weekend and we've got our meetings, okay? Food and kitchen, um, you know, we don't know. We, hey, we went to a conference center last year, we've been to churches every other year. Um, we were at churches, we have to put the product on 100 percent So we've got to we have to procure food, prepare food, serve food, clean up food, okay? We don't know what uh, that looks like this year where we're headed. That'll be decided by this team. Um, so we've got, to, we've got to have people to tune in the calls on the attitude of food. Okay? Fundraising and sponsorship. Um, again, we take donations. We raise money through the fees that it costs, the registration fees. But, you know, the more sponsors, it's not, we'll be going backwards if we don't have sponsors. So in order for us to continue this ministry, continue to grow it, continue to minister to men throughout uh, North Texas, sponsorship opportunity, uh, we've got to have somebody champion that cause, okay? Uh, legal counsel advises on legal contracts with speakers, venues, all of that. Very important role. We need to make sure that, that we have somebody that is uh, giving us good direction here. Liaison to the two dioceses. This person manages and forming that relationship, keeping them updated, asking them what they need and vice versa, and just making sure we've got a great relationship with the diabetes and we continue to let them know about our ministry and grow. Okay? So we one for each of the diocese. Program ad sales, that's, that's kind of a new one if you feel that well, that's great, but we, you know, we produce a great program, we've got a sponsorship, and it'd be great to have people, you know, if they want to they purchase advertising space, anything like that. To make that, we can add prayers to it, resources this year also, if we would like as an idea. So that can be something that if somebody can go to more often, and then those advertising and promotion of opportunities can be listed here. So there's a thought on challenges to it. Um, and then we've got to have people that actually produce and do the artwork and the organization. This is the 
reconciliation, that's the person that uh, coordinates with the priest, uh, recruits the priest, uh, and coordinates with their, their movement, their activity, where they're going to be stationed, and any needs that they have throughout the day, that person will be in charge for setting up the front of the uh, We always need ushers, readers, uh, and volunteers to help us in general. There's the opportunities, questions. I'll throw a lot at you and I'll throw any questions about any of you. Either you're sleeping or we did a decent time. I think we did. I think you did great. Everything seems to be straightforward. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So what we will do. Oh, Ralph, did you not introduce yourself? Brother Ralph, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Tell us who you are. Oh, Ralph. Yeah, get in the circle. Get in the circle, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got battery life. Dr. Ronsoransky was born Catholic, went to Catholic elementary school, high school, and then turned away from God for 10 years and went to college. Got involved in sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and then became a born again Christian about 1980. Started praying in abortion clinics uh, about that time. We went all the way from born again Christian to Reformed Calvinist and a Protestant. And then after two years of intense research, uh, I came back to the Catholic Church as a uh, uh, full embracing Catholic, knowing it is the one true church. And uh, I moved here and, uh, eight years ago after taking care of my mom and dad for three years uh, as they went through catastrophic illnesses and dying process and got involved at St. Michael's and prayed at the abortion clinic down in Henderson um, for one day a week uh, for a couple of years and then God had me do it two days a week and then uh, I got involved over at St. Uh, a Good Shepherd and they said that there was men that uh, Praying the rosary and doing Bible study and said, gee, maybe I can recruit some guys to come and pray with me at the abortion clinic. So I showed up and all of them had been through that. So I joined Good Shepherd so I could go through that. And uh culture. Sure, sorry. Thinking about that. <laughs> and so uh, one of the brothers that went through chirp uh, with me, Rick, he immediately came out and started praying with me at the abortion clinic. At that time God told me to pray there six days a week over at the local abortion clinic. And so I've had a number of men come and pray with me from St. Michael's and Good Shepherd. And on my birthday, 65th birthday last year, I had over 40 men come and pray with me on my birthday at the abortion clinic. And so Rick asked me, since he's been a dear brother and prayer warrior on the front lines with me, he asked me if I would help with uh, uh, this conference last year. Actually, the year before, 2014. And can't refuse a prayer warrior any request, and so I got involved and did the uh, marketing and saw that we needed uh, videography so that we could record the, the people that are involved and record the speakers, so I did all that into the video editing and created a website for that, and then this last year I did uh, videoing the whole conference and continue on with uh, honoring our speakers and honoring our volunteers and uh, putting them on the internet so that they can share their and then the witness for God. And so, here I am again. You've done a terrific job, I think. Thank you. It's video. <laughs> <laughs>
true fruit and not. My name is Jeremy. I know I said outreach, uh, reconnecting with some of my old friends and uh, old diocese and kind of scouting. Because I was also fighting because I didn't think uh, I was willing to take on the role that I was here. Um, and I didn't hear anybody else say it. I really hate that too much for the Lord to do me. But, uh, so, uh, this is really about the game laws. It's a lot of it. The speakers of Jerry can bring it in the town and stuff. So, I think that uh, actually like, the first head of what we're going to say on the speakers. Freedom. Uh, Majority of my life has been served. I, uh, by the grace of God, have been allowed to do the evangelization. Uh, I didn't know that I was doing a sermon for one person. I didn't know that I was praying for deliverance for another. I've just been used by God in various ways.
high school students. Uh, prior to them coming out, what they mean not only to myself, but what they mean to others. Maybe some other students that they want to get at prior to them coming out. Uh, also, as, as a music director of the music minister, hard not to think of it as a show. So there is there is time where you, you need to move things along. Okay. It takes it takes too long to get to the next speaker or it takes too long to get to the next events. Um, you lose momentum. Okay. Uh, even uh, DJs were talking about that right? as as they're as they're they're doing songs that move at certain tempos. Okay. And then you, you want to add another song that is similar tempo, but then you're going to increase the tempo just a little bit more. As the night goes out, songs get a little bit faster and a little bit louder. Okay, keeping people's energy. Okay, so a lot of it is about that. Time is about that communication. Okay, now the bar event. There's time for winding it up. There's time for winding it down. And uh, that point is, a, is an important process that uh, that I, I, I people want to think through a little bit more. And we've got really kind of a formal now. It's now you know, how we move these things where the event really blows, you know, um, and as much as we can. It's, at the end of the day, when you start, it's all about Holy Spirit, so I <laughs> take you through everything anyway. So we were doing it really long. But that's, uh, I just feel like a lot of my life, as I look back on, on the talents that he's given me, a lot of my life is, is directing me to, to pursue that. Yeah. 
What's that? Anything else? Uh, I, I can talk for ten minutes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> John, I feel called to reconciliation because I have done that so much with my acts retreats over the years. I've worked for the diocese twice, and I worked, I was a member of the Fort Worth Diocese at one time, and I know a lot of priests. Also, reconciliation, so many people that come to the conference, they may not have been uh, to confession for many years, and it's such a good feeling to see someone, if you know of that, uh, for, to see them come back uh, and to receive those sacraments. I'm Rick, and I just want to thank the Holy Spirit for bringing these guys to step up for reconciliation. That is so great. That's just a prayer answer. Thank you. Um, I, I, put down for a conference lead and uh, the, the Holy Spirit is telling me to do this. I, uh, I've been involved the last couple of years. I've, I've been a lay director. I, uh, I just feel like I'm called to lead. I, I, I want, you know, if I'm qualified to lead, I don't know. I mean, it's something you guys decide, but I uh, feel a strong calling and I'm just honored to be in the room with you guys and say, This is where we can affirm it. But if somebody wants to step up and make that spot, feel free to do that. Thanks. Yeah. Real quick on what you said there. First thing, when you said, you know, if you qualify, I said that the spirit told me. And 
remind me of those words of the Lord doesn't call it qualified. The Lord qualifies those he calls. Um, I guess in my particular situation would be video content creation for the websites and uh, content uh, uh, posting on all the social media sites. I've kind of been doing the, the lead and the business manager for the last five years. So, um, Paul took the lead last year and, and kind of co-lead totally and, and Rick, you feel called to be this year certainly would you know, support you in that and, and uh, we'll help you with that. And, and I can, I'm called to be the business lead and whatever else the Lord calls me to do. Whichever one of these balls that are flipping around the air and reach out and grab them to make this a success again. That's what I'm doing. I'm all different roles not getting fulfilled. You guys carried it or served me into it. I am the president of the nonprofit for another year. There's an opportunity where we need somebody developing the organization. Okay. Where today, you know, the conference lead is having responsibility because I've lived it for two years. Trying to coordinate all these meetings and all these subcommittees and these groups and work along with the business manager, the company, whatever you want to call that role. You don't have anybody setting the vision, the direction, and making changes and helping the organization be And so this year I would like to fulfill my role as president, the primary responsibility and focus, taking the organization to the next level. And so the way I would look at it is, if you take a sports analogy, we have a general manager or a, that runs the organization. You've got a head coach, also called a conference lead, that puts the product on the field. And so if you guys want to get the sign, I'm willing to take that role on. Uh, I don't feel like I can be part of the team on a weekly basis this year for this reason. Uh, I've been, been asked to discern about uh, our own religious life. And I'm going through a screening process right now that they'll decide if, 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 if I'm a candidate. But I'll pray for that right now. Going to meetings and seeing if that's where the Holy Spirit wants to place me. And uh, there's a possibility that if He does call me, a second full-time job. I don't think I can have three full-time jobs. Okay. So that's what I feel I'm being called to so help with. Sir, so, there we go. I, I, I like what you said. I mean, I, I agree with that. I do think there's something in here, though, we can probably sign you up for when we get closer, <laughs> closer to the conference. But I understand what there is a role on that sheet that I feel that I could do, but we've got somebody that's, uh, we've got two guys that are more qualified for me in that role, so I think, uh, unless you guys ask, I'm going to say that. Uh, question. I'm when, um, can you go over uh, an issue of, uh, I see a lot of leads and I see a lot of workers here, there's more leads and workers than our president here. We able to do a need and that great question. You can serve in more than one role if it's not one. These first four or five, those guys got my own play. Um, so they probably need to single up on them. Some of these other roles you can lead and serve in another one. Or you can serve in a couple. And they not necessarily be the leader, but that's a great question. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, Hey, we might not have a lead in one of these spots today, as an example, but I feel like you contribute to that. That's okay. You know, whether you want to become the lead or grow into that or whatever that looks like, 
because there's brothers that have just that have let us know their interest, but physically couldn't be here present. There's 20 more guys that are not here today that are let me, present. Let me speak on behalf of one. And you check with brothers if you want to take the lead as soon as I mention this name. Uh, Jeff Lysing from our good shepherd uh, is a He's, in, he's, he's involved in several ministries. Um, he's very heavy in the music ministry. Um, but he's just got a commanding presence. When he speaks, um, very articulate, great voice quality. Uh, he said, hey, if you, if you guys call me, if you need somebody, I think I could be a great speaker moderator for you. But I will serve. And he gave us three or four others. He says, that's just my first thought. Uh, but if you guys need me to do anything, I was so moved by the love and compassion that you guys shared with me at the conference last year. I'm in. They couldn't be here with us this morning. Uh, that's another guy. So, so there are several examples. I know that's a long answer. There are several examples of other people. The team is bigger than just us. Uh, I think, uh, you know, as I mentioned, and I also, and I think these two kind of would play together. Uh, I would also, I think, help the speaker selection. Yeah, that'll be a team. Yeah, I want this to be more for sure. If that, and that role was, um, that, that role, you know, we've got a bit through a lot of them. And so it's a lot of hey, researching them, calling them up, just asking questions, negotiating all that, and give us 20 options. That the team and them that's through and shoot. So we're not we're not asking you to necessarily say hey, this guy, this guy, this yeah. guy. Yeah. He's part of that whole process. Absolutely. Any other questions on any of these roles? Yes. I just see a natural flow of market publicity and provide being called for a better coordinator as your position because it's marketing. So in the marketing aspect of also reaching out to that in that same cycle to to a to the vendors so maybe hey by the way. So I don't know that's there's a current collaboration previously with those roles. I don't know which you wrote? I don't know if there was, but there probably should be. There should be, yeah. I mean that's yeah. a great conduit. You're yeah. marketing to to the entire masses quote unquote. There's the opportunity to talk to the to to the outside vendors you want to bring in yeah. to that to that meeting. Totally. I don't know if that was collaboration or not. We hadn't had much of it, but we should. Yeah. Also on the on the diocesan liaison jobs, can one person do both? Yeah. Do it? Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, if they know both parishes, if they I mean both or just willing to shake hands, make phone calls, all that. Mm -hmm. Well, I think a lot of us are parish Well, yeah, I was going to say everybody in there is a parish recruiter. Yeah. 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 Do you get to taste the food before you go from the kitchen? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sample the. Okay, guys, any other questions? All right, gentlemen, gentlemen, any other questions about the roles? Now we'll go ahead and start people the individual roles. feeling good? We're going to start doing what? We're going to fill in the organization chart. Yeah. We're just discerning of these roles. All right, so the first role that we will discern into is our conference lead for 2016. Um, I heard Rick Self. I will uh, testify that Rick Self would do very well in that role, and we would be uh, very fortunate to have him in. I think the Holy Spirit is calling uh, Rick Self to be our conference team lead for 2016. Do you guys agree? Yes. yes. Congratulations, Rick Self. Hey. No question. I ain't got a problem with Rick. This next poll for spiritual director, remind me, Bob Ivanfeld. Uh, Dwayne, I don't know if he's doing something else. He's doing facilities, I think. He's going to help on that. So Bob Dwayne, anybody else for spiritual director? 
did Ralph and Mark. There were other options for men for Ralph and Mark did? Yeah. did this for the last five years really right and uh, I could use the break this year I know I said the Holy Spirit is always guiding me and he's guiding me back to my wife's home now more time for the next <laughs> <laughs> and you know night so uh, actually um, if we could Cody that that role this year I'd be glad to do that with you and maybe just hand it to you moving forward if you're committed to taking it for a year or two at least two years yeah, yeah. I was thinking of Actually, the same thing uh, because I'm new to Texas and new to you know, the area. Yeah. A year ago, Joe would be great. And I'd be okay. Uh, yeah. So you feel called to be the co lead You'll be the leader. Yeah. You'll be his assistant. Right. Co means assistant. That's fine. Okay. That's great. So you'll be his assistant for the 16 cycle, maybe a possibility take it to take it over sure. on the 17 or 18 possibly. You're, you're good with that? Yeah. You're good with that? Joey, are you? Yep. Good? Good. Okay, so cool. we'll, we'll, we'll put Joey as the lead, you as the co lead, the businessman. Awesome. Okay, next job is uh, finance. Right. I'm hoping that we uh, move on to that 
Stop right there. Okay. Bill, you accept that role? I did. Okay. Thank you. Good. Welcome, Bill. Marking it from this. Information technology. I think I heard Ralph. Let's see if we got here. Is there nobody else signed up for it? Did I hear anybody else? Not that else. was actually my second option. <laughs> well, I think, I think you're going to have your hands full. Yeah, yeah. Ralph, has the Holy Spirit called you to manage information technology for us? Um, yes. <laughs> I'm it. <laughs> okay. I move that we place Ralph into that role. Do you accept it, Ralph? I do.
parish recruit or perform recruiting and promotional efforts in your parish recruit people to attend the conference. That's two different jobs. So we're trying to figure out which one Wayne falls under. Wayne's the, He's the outreach. outreach okay. parish. We got Harold and uh, and Tom as as parish recruiter team. What was that? Tom over here. Yeah, parish leaders. Yeah, yeah, but not that's not leading. I want to clarify that as a as a worker for your parish. That's fine. That's different than a lead for the whole. North Texas. So, Harold, you just want to be a lead for your parish? Yep. And Tom, you want to be a lead just for your parish? Yes. Okay. Okay, let me just put in your parish in there. So we still need a kind of a lead for... I'm Immaculate Conception. And Another role I just thought of, which is kind of the Knights of Columbus lead. Yep. Does anybody want to take that? To I'll work? do that for Immaculate for uh, con our council, both the third and fourth degree. Okay. Uh, well, I'm thinking of We really need it for the whole uh, yeah. North Texas. Oh. Like, you still need it for the coordinator. Yeah. The coordinator gets to the head night that it's going to get to all that's, that. that's what the Knights of Order of Service are. Right. Harold, you shared with me earlier concerning that decision in the Knights, right? Uh, as that role. With other spending knights. a lot of time talking to your brother knights. Just there. That's the problem right now. I'm going to discern whether I want to run for grand knight or not. And I have to <coughs> next month's meeting to make that one. That See, if, that it's, if you run for grand, well, if you're, you're going to run for right, if you make it or not, you can still be the channel from yeah. our group to whoever actually is it, if it's going to be you or somebody else, to make sure that they get the communications that they can pass it to the knights organization. It's not, it's not just yeah, for, yeah, I don't. Yeah, if we had a grand night from the whole area here. Yeah, but who has the contact for all these people? For all the parishes, that's all the. We will have all that once people sign up for each individual parish. We have this spreadsheet right here. If you look up here, right? Here's like a list for parish captains from the past. We got every parish, first oh. name, phone number. Oh, we have that. Right? So right now we're building our master leadership list. Once we have this, we'll get other people to volunteer for some of these parishes when time moves along, but we, we kind of really need the traffic cop to make sure the communications are going out to you know, <coughs> parishes and, you know, checking on them. Well, you, you, you can be the lead and actually have the meeting so when it comes time for them to get their information, you can communicate to them how they can communicate to each parish, right? So if you guys can take that on for the group and the other parish guys would stand up and it would be at a meeting and then you would leave that meeting and we'd be here to help you also. Yeah, but my concern is I don't want to take too much on my plate and not be able to handle any of it. All right, I want to do the outreach and up underneath that, we put Knights of Columbus specific. Would you be willing to do that? Like I got up there? Parish? Okay. Yeah. All right, because what we're going to do is outreach to parishes. You could be a subdivision of that, so you don't need to leave the whole thing, but you could be specific to the Knights of Columbus channel. Would you be willing to do that? And I also can let you know. Okay. Decide not to go for green. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the green night was. Oh, I know. It's kind of worse. Worse. But I mean, they listen to the other green nights. So you're going to be spending time with these guys. Yeah, they're they're not the right now, there's nobody around. So. <laughs> it's one of those. Hey, and, and again, this isn't the only part of the thing. The brothers who couldn't be here today that, that will that, pass. The other thing I failed to mention, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned this a long time ago. Uh, this is a reference guide. It's a starting point. What we envision is, like for example, if we go in here and we say uh, we discern somebody, and I'm just picking anyone off the sheet. I'm not picking on any specific or suggesting anything specific. But if we say facilities as an example, that's the role I see on here. And we discern somebody into the lead of facilities. Okay, that's the lead of facilities on our formation team. He's free to go out and get him a, a staff of 50 people if he wants to that are not part of this leadership team. And 
And when we have a meeting, as an example, we're, we're not looking for, hey, facilities, tell us everything, blah, 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 blah. No, dude, I need a 30-second update. You guys do all that work on subcommittee, not in big group meeting. Okay? Big, big group meeting, this, this is the vision, okay? And if you want to serve in some way, but we're not asking a guy to do it alone. So if you if you discern any of the lead roles, you're free to go recruit whoever you want to. Okay? That makes sense? Yeah. So it's not all on you. Yeah. Alright, so where did we get? So you come to the registration team. Yeah, I'm going to that. Okay. Registration team next. Alright, registration. We got we need leads and helpers. We got Ben and Francis as the leads, and we got uh Mark as the number two. Anybody feel called? Clark wants to know. Anybody feel called to be our lead in that area? Yeah, Francis. Registration. Or anybody here? Francis. 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 Or just raise his hand. Okay. You want to be the lead? Sure. Okay. He's going to need help. Yes. Ben, you're going to be co-lead? that in the past and basically what that is uh, is to provide stuff for the meetings you know coffee donuts uh, lunch dinners coordinating the, you know payment of stuff that we need uh, pick it up picking up uh, coordinating printing materials and stuff coordinating shirts and t-shirt purchases coordinating the purchases of things that we buy for the day and event very important job yeah and Mark, as I said in the past, he's, he's a saint within us because he's done several of these jobs. And it just doesn't happen without him being involved somehow or another. All right. Look, nobody feels called to it. We can come back to it. We can come back to that. It's a very important role. Okay, so we're at uh, speaker selection. We could ask him. He is perfect. He certainly did that. Put his name down and we'll just tell him. He deserves more. Put Bob down for a. So he gets to go to the mission Okay, so Bob Bosville, by now we're going to ask him if he'll do provision. The speaker selection, anybody feel called to help lead that? Yeah, yeah. I can help with the speakers. Does he still want to do that? Yes. Got that as a number, it's number one. I can help with the speakers because with the website stuff anyway and get their promo stuff, I can do that. And again, we'll bring that to the team and we'll look at the speakers. They're just going to investigate. Yeah, again, I'd like to help with that too. Okay. Chris, put Chris down as okay. well. And Ralph, you want to help also? I hope because we can get their uh, promotional videos and stuff because that's a part of uh, promoting on the internet. So the Holy Spirit, I'm hearing the Holy Spirit lead us, Michael Ward, to continue being the lead there, and you two guys to help. Is that good? Chris and Ralph will help. Okay, volunteer coordinator. Yeah, it takes a lot of volunteers to put on the conference at this, so we need somebody to direct traffic. Uh, volunteer coordinator. You know, John Sullivan did it last year. He didn't say he would do it this year, but he he said sign him up for something. Just put him down for question mark. Yeah. Okay, vendor coordinator. John. Okay. I'm here. John called the vendor coordinator. I second. Uh, third. Second, third. American motion carries. Do you accept the job? Awesome, thank you. Zachary. Still feeling called toward that direction? My brother, I could call the all these directions, but I don't think the board would be stepping in. Yes, I'm 
motion that uh, we move, make Trino to Sackers. Okay. Uh, the other question I have do I need to bring all the cloths and stuff of that nature? We'll get you all those details. We'll, we'll get you okay. that. We'll yeah. get you all the details. Day of the event for sure, yes. yes. Depends, yes. On what, depends on what we're doing. All yeah, that. that's the quality of the that. Asking Jackie right now so that I can get a hold of it. <laughs> and you'll be in charge of the diocese because the diocese provides some stuff. It just depends on where you're yeah. at. The bishop is just up the road in St. Patrick's. <laughs> All right, good. Very good. Uh, next one is the job of the liturgist. I've got Mark on there for that. Right. Well, we had some conversation on that. <laughs> we don't, have, I don't know how he feels about that. We offered it up and let the Holy Spirit work. But the liturgist job's up. Jim Cummings. Jim Cummings. I, I, don't, know, I don't know if he's concerned for it, but he is here. I don't think I didn't get a, a form from him. We're not getting one back. You got nothing from me. Nothing. You guys, I mean, you notice the shift change in the product we put on this year? Yeah. Because of Jim. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's very talented. He can do it for a living. It's just I don't think I motion that we ask Jim if he would be willing to take on the front. If he doesn't, does anybody else? Okay, I'm going to ask, we're going to ask Brother Jim if we do that. Videographer. <laughs> <laughs> I motion that Brother Ralph continue in that role. He does such an excellent job. Second. Yeah. Ralph, will you accept that job? Very good. Photographer. No, that's you can't do both at the yeah, same time. And that would be taking stills of hey, when we have meetings, just kind of impromptu stuff like this within the day of the conference. Uh, taking that, or uh, I can do stills of setting that up and getting somebody else so that uh, all the work's not on that one person. I could, I could do stills at the meetings and stuff because I'm already there. That's pretty much a part of uh, right. of uh, so 
they put recorded. you in that role with find a backup for you? Well, oh, find somebody to do the conference like we did Stuart this last year. And Stuart and Mike McGee, he would be another one that could do photos. Tyson. Greg, Greg, Tyson. Okay, I motion we Greg carry on in that role. Uh, second. Second. He already told us he'd accept if you get to start him into that role. Uh, I think yep. Greg will be the lead in the fundraising. Legal counsel, I think I got a good candidate. <laughs> Chris. I think we are legal counsel. If you'll have We've actually got two on legal. So, uh, Chad has actually come back also. Uh, he can help out also. Yeah. He can help him get it. Check it. He'll be your assistant. You be the lead. You be the lead on it. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next job was the liaison to Fort Worth. Liaison to Fort Worth. I'm going to coordinate communication anyway, so I'll probably help out in that one. Okay. I would like to help. You would like to help. That's a good idea. For Fort Worth? Okay, good. Yeah. Awesome. Basically, just down below. Yeah, that's. You know Chris Long, by the chance? No. no he's no. our kind of name. We don't wish to. Yeah. Okay. He's kind of got us in there. He's a director of family life. We need a Dallas. We need a Dallas first. So that's the next one. Yes, liaison. To, we got to go develop a relationship with the diocese of, of, of Dallas. We've got an inside contact. He just told you about him. He comes to our fellowship group sometimes. Uh, we got him on speed dial. He's our friend for uh, for Fort Worth. We need, we need to develop that relationship. So somebody just needs to walk through there, meet the family life director or whatever, shake hands, and just start that process. Anybody willing to start that process? Who at St. Gabriel knows the uh, fun senior care? Probably need somebody out of St. Gabriel knows the fun senior care. I should just love him. Absolutely. It's really love him. It's really, yeah, him. It's really yeah, that's nice. It's really nice. It's a way in. Yeah, I tried that. He's a little more busy. Yeah, he's too busy to kind of help us with that. I think our key need from the diocese is the communication director, right? So if we, and I've had steps contact with her in the past, but then kind of lost it. And then, um, who, who did this last year? Oh, uh, I'll spin it out. Anyway, he had volunteered. Claudia volunteered for him, had some issues with his family, and had to go out to, uh, to Cuba and take care of some family issues and stuff. Chile. So, Chile. 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 So we really didn't get a lot of help in that area, but we do need help in that area. And guys, it's uh, it, it, it really is. It's about just reaching out and finding that kind. Of, then you tell them about who we are. They'll take the ball and run with it from there and spread it through. Oh, because I mean, Rick and I went and knocked on the front door, and uh, Larry West told us his name. Rick went down there, met him. He set up a meeting. We went and sat with him. We did that two or three times last year, and now what a resource. Chris, what do you recommend we do here? Well, I recommend you do this, 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 this. So it's all started with that one hand shake. So you don't have to change the world. You just have to pick up the phone and uh, send an email. 
emails and maybe go down there and shake a few hands to start that for us. That's what it is. So did you, did you say there's a Chris counterpart at, at Dallas? Yes. We need somebody to develop a relationship with. I think that person is Dallas Dias. Yeah, yeah, they do. Think about that. I'm not going to hold you up all day. But discern over that role. In addition to somebody. You know somebody that knows somebody that died. That's all. You really have to gain traction in the Dallas Okay, we're ever going to get to come back to that one. Program ad sales. That's a new role. Kind of, you know, it kind of goes along with sponsorships and we're working in that. But Fred was number two on that. Fred is? Yeah. So we can I motion that we make Fred number one on that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a second? I need a third or fourth on that. Third or fourth. Fred, Fred's got it. All right, Fred. Fred. <laughs> we also have the, uh, the program. program book that he has. Uh, he's also still heading up program book with production. Yeah, let me see if anybody else signed up that one. While he's looking up that, reconciliation. John. 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 Francis was on that one too. Francis, John, Mark. On the program booklet helping out. Uh -huh. I work with reconciliation. Well, uh, reconciliation right now. Uh, we'll come back to that. Hold that thought. Yeah. Reconciliation. I think I heard multiple names though. I got them. I think John. Mark, did I hear you? Good Mark, and then John. I'll be a worker. I'll be a worker. I'll be a worker. I reckon so. Good to have you. We have a long line this year. Let's think about this for a second. We need a team lead for this one. All right, who feels called to be the lead? And, and we're going to count on you to help. You to help, 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 you to help. Who's feeling called to be the lead? We've got three guys that have mentioned it. Who, who's the third one? John Mark. I think I can do it. All right, John. Can you please? Good. Uh, I'm here in the Holy Spirit lead us toward John as the lead for reconciliation. I second. John, is that what you're doing? Yeah. We take the degrees. Grip degrees. Would you would you take on that responsibility? Uh, Mark, do you want to assist? Yeah, I got it. Harold, do you want to assist? My Mark, do you want to assist with reconciliation? Yes. Okay. I like the one. Okay. All right, now we're down to ushers, greeters. Uh, really, that's a volunteer coordinator will kind of make sure that we recruit ushers. Uh, so I really would see that as somebody that each of you can, if there's other gentlemen in your parish that know that want to help out, but they can't be part of the regular formation team, maybe they can do some service stuff like ushering. And, uh, we had nobody sign up for that. Greeters. All right, so, so let's go back for a second. Liaison to the Dallas Dice. The Dallas Dice. I think we'll feel that one. Somebody that is within the Dallas Diocese to go and develop that relationship. That's what you're here. So you, you, you are correct. Well, I can reach out to Mark Pentecost on this. He's got this right connections going on right now. Is he in the Dallas Diocese? Yes. He is in the uh, process to the IA. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. He's very, a Prince of Peace, too, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. He's a very, very, um, very good okay. Uh, 
Okay, I, uh, I texted Claudia just now saying, in the middle of the sermon, <laughs> and uh, if you give us your ideas, Claudia, of how we further engage the Dallas Diocese, because you know, I met with Claudia in his office a year ago or so, and I was having lunch with uh, Steve Landry. And, uh, you know, he, he, I never really heard from Claudia why he sort of distanced. <clears throat> All we knew is when Joey and I were trying to reach him, he was with his family and children. But he seems to have a strong passion. He's in Allen, he goes to St. Mark's, he comes. St. Jude. Does he? He St. is in St. Jude. Because he was going to that many Jew, but then he dropped out of that too many times. He goes to St. Mark's. But he's, you know, he's two floors down, literally from Bishop Farrell's office. If you were in Bishop Farrell's office, go down with Claudia. He's the director of family life for the Dallas Diocese. He's Chris Vaughn's peer. And he is he's the one we need to get. He's Claudio, and he's two offices down from Angel's Captain. It's like Claudio is the guy to engage. The whole diet. So, what's his name? Claudia Claudia Mora, M O R A, is the director of the family of the board of Dallas Diocese. His first name is Claudia. 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 Yeah. Is that the same job as Chris has? Yes. He is Chris's peer. Okay. So, so, Bill, do you know Mark Pentecostal? Yeah, he hired everybody. Very friends. Can, can you approach him about yes. this role? Yes. Okay. Brother Mark, you're very talented. You can do any job on this leadership team. You've proven that over and over again. I don't believe I have your name written down, or I missed it. What do we have you? What role? You got him in reconciliation. Help him with reconciliation. Help him with reconciliation. That's not enough for Mark. Well, that's kind of, <laughs> Joey said it, I was leaving there, you're very talented. Do you feel like you need that, or you want to help, or lead in another way? Okay. That one is unfilled still. Provisions is still unfilled, so. I'll tell you what we'll do. Bob was listed on there, but well, Bob and him cold. Yeah, and, and then okay. Would you be willing to do provisions? Are you good with that? Very good at that. <laughs> I know you're good at it. I said, are you good with it? <laughs> Actually, you know what? As we have our separate meetings, we thought it kind of makes sense to have somebody on both sides. Because these can kind of do it from the outside. Yeah, I, I like them both. Because if we could, you know, if we could do meetings where instead of driving all the way across the metroplex, we can use tools to combine two groups and still get the same thing done. Let me ask you this. Would you feel called to lead it? Bob, Bob's very good also. He's got a servant's heart as, as you do. Uh, you've performed that role a couple of times. Give him some good guidance and direction. And I tell you, if you ask him, Bob, I don't feel to do something, we're just getting ready to move. Paul, we have Bob down this facility, so why don't we make more leading Bob to That's where I'm heading with. <laughs> Would you be our lead? It's a lead and pro lead. It's a really a two person job, anyway. All right, so provisions, you will be our lead? Did I leave anybody off? Do you have any questions? Let's look at the list. Let's go from the top to the bottom. Okay, I, I understand we got uh, Conference Lead Rick Sell. Is that right? Paul, we just look up here. Can you see up there? Uh, let's see. President Lee's on the Fort Worth. We need to teach you how to spell Shepherd, but that's all cool. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. Oh, that's good. All right, outreach. Outreach. We got Wayne. Okay. 
Ben, registration co lead. Okay. Chris, legal team lead. Um, okay, I'll fix that one. Uh, we're going to have a co, 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 co team lead for okay. legal. Uh, Francis for registration. Hey, Joey. Yeah. Can you just change the Take the Y out of my last name, but I don't know why it comes up like that. Thank you. I think the email was like that too. Can you put a city with with a with a parachute? Uh, he can go back. Yeah, he can go back and do that. He'll go back and do that. Same Paul Richards. Yeah. Okay. All right. Spiritual director is Bob Dwayne, Good Shepherd. Colleague. Bob, what person you with again? Bob, good shepherd, good shepherd and colleague. Oh. Mm -hmm. Harold, we have a parish only, Knights of Columbus for conciliation to you, Cody. Yeah. Okay. Tom, uh, parish only. Okay. Wynn, co lead with me. Greg, sponsorship. John, vendor coordinator. Mm -hmm. Ralph, and Master of Silva, S I L E. Silva, okay. I, I thought I heard Silva. Towards the area that you were. And St. Phillips? Yes. Correct, okay. All right, Ralph, your info tech, lead video, and lead of the photographers? Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, outreach co lead. <coughs> Trino, uh, Sack Christian team lead. Mark, Provisions team lead, and reconciliation co team. Mark Taggart. Uh, Liturgist team lead, weekend facilitator. Bill, marketing lead, John, reconciliation. Uh, the spelling of my last name, R-O-P-P-O-L-O. R-O what? R-O-P-P-O-L-O. Yeah? No, R-O-P-P-O-L-O. And that's St. Monica Dallas. Okay, and for the people who not are not here, we've got uh, Michael Rourke as speech coordinator, lead, Gerard Estrella as food slash team lead, Fred as program ad team lead, uh, and the end of the book lead. I didn't, I guess I left that one, I need to fix it. Uh, Chet Willis is the legal team co-lead. So we've got several other people who had sent in a form but didn't fill out some data. Dick, Dick, I, I, I can turn this in. Dick. Ron Anderson is uh, a greeter and an usher. Andrew Mudd, we know him. Denny Mounder, these are some things that you sent me. Okay, yeah, we'll just put those in. Brian Cox, Kevin Miller, Ron Deer, Ron Schumick, Kim Wade, Dave Hatcher, Javier Contreras, Rick Campos. All right, we got Bob uh, as facilities lead and provisions lead. Totally, yeah. Okay, all right. And then speaker moderator Jeff Leiston. But Scott, Scott Kaiser is a greeter or rusher, either one. Okay. Mike McGee's finance. If you want to spell Shepherd one time, right, for all of us, it's S H E P H E R D. Good. Is that all the names? Yeah, I think. Is that all? Uh, no, we got Mark Minicasas. Uh, Bill's going to give him to see if he can use them. B-E-N-I-N-C-A-S-A. And then change, change team lead to Rick. C-A-S-A. Oh, wait a minute. B-E-N-I-N-C-E. C-A-S-A. C-A-S-A. And then do what on Rick now? He's the team lead. Take, take team lead off my name. 
Oh, on line oh, this is the old stuff. The stuff that's in blue is all new. Okay. This is, oh, okay. this is yeah. historical for last year, so if we had to go back to some way, we could. Yeah, if we had to get a hold of those. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, so we are good.